Hi, Lee with Ames Community College here for another learning moment. Today I want to talk with you about unit conversion. We'll be moving from one unit to another doing some very simple math. It's important when doing unit conversions that we keep our units with us. We carry them throughout the problem. That way we know where we've been, we have an idea of where we're going, and it will help us identify any problems if we get stuck. So if we think about going to Germany on a vacation, you might drive on the Autobahn and you would probably see a speed limit that says the speed limit here in Germany is 130 kilometers per hour. We don't really have a sense in the United States of how fast 130 kilometers per hour is. So what I'd like to do is convert that into miles per hour to get a sense of how fast that is. Let's go. So this is where we start. 130 kilometers in one hour. We want to end up with some number of miles in one hour. So I notice immediately that the units on the bottom are the same, so I don't even need to think about the units on the bottom. But I do need to somehow find a ratio between kilometers and miles. Well, I did some research and I found that one mile is the same distance as 1.6 kilometers. So we're going to use that. Let's in fact put that in a ratio, but we'll do that in just a moment. So let's start here with 130 kilometers in one hour. And then let's try to figure out which of these we should put on top and which we should put on the bottom. Again, we want to get rid of kilometers. I see kilometers on the top. I want to end with miles on the top, so maybe we should do that. So let's say one mile equals 1.6 kilometers. So what that allows me to do is cancel those like units. And look at that, I'm left with miles per hour. Those are my units that are left. Now I just need to do some math. That's really easy. So that works out to 130 times 1 mile on the top and 1 times 1.6 hours on the bottom. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. That's 130 miles in 1.6 hours. We do the math and we find that that works out to just about 81 miles in one hour. We can even write it like this. So there's our answer, 81 miles in one hour. All we did was use this known ratio in an order that makes sense, that works for us, because we knew we wanted to end with miles, so it makes sense to put mile on the top. It helps that with kilometer on the top, if we put kilometer on the bottom, those units cancel, and so we're left with miles per hour. That works out pretty well. The Olympics were this summer, and I've been thinking about that phenomenal sprinter, Usain Bolt. You know, he ran a 100-meter dash in a world record time of 9.63 seconds. That's pretty fast. I could probably beat him in my car, but I don't know that for a fact. I'm curious to know how fast running 100 meters in 9.63 seconds, how many miles per hour is that? Let's find out. So Usain Bolt ran 100 meters in 9.63 seconds. We want to know how many miles in one hour that works out to. So let's start with our statement and turn it into a ratio. 100 meters, 9.63 seconds. That seems like a good order because then we can talk about some meters per second speed. Meters per second, the distance per time, it sounds like miles per hour, so we've got the right order that way. Well, how are we going to go from meters to miles? Well, I remember from a minute ago, we talked about this relationship between kilometers per miles, and I know that there's a relationship between meters and kilometers, or meters and kilometers, right? 
So let's start there. Let's get to kilometers and then use that previous ratio between kilometers and miles. So I want to get rid of meters and replace it with kilometers, right? So kilometers is going to go on top, meters is going to go on the bottom. I remember that in one kilometer there are a thousand meters. So that will allow me to cancel my meters. And I'll have 100 times 1, or 100, kilometers in 9.63 times 1,000. Well, let's see. 1, 2, 3. That sounds like 9,630 seconds. Well, that's a big number. I don't know that I want to work with that many digits. So let's see if we can't pare this down a little bit, shall we? Let's see, if I move my decimal place one, two places to get back to one kilometer, then I'll have to move my decimal place one twice to get to 96.3 seconds. So I can say one kilometer in 96.3 seconds. Now the question we're asking, and the question you should be asking as you go through this kind of process, is does this number make sense? Does this correlate or does it relate to this statement? Well, let's see, there are 10 100 meter sections in a kilometer. So if we take 9.63 and multiply it by 10, why, well, sure enough, we get 96.3 seconds. So this statement or this ratio correlates with this nicely. That's good. We want to go from kilometers to miles. So now we can bring in that ratio that we used a moment ago, where we said. What was that again? 1.6 kilometers to the mile. I think that's what it was. I've got kilometers on top. I want to replace it with miles. So I'll put miles on top, I'll put kilometers on the bottom, and that ratio is 1 to 1.6. So now I can, let's see, cancel my units. Bring this over, so that's one mile. 96.3 times 1.6, that works out to 155 seconds, no other unit there, so seconds. So in 155 seconds, he would run one mile. That's pretty fast, but I want miles per hour, right? I don't want miles per second. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's rewrite one mile. 155 seconds, and I've got some relationship between seconds and the hours that I want. I want to get rid of seconds, and I want to end up with miles per hour. So I put hours on the bottom, and I'm going to put seconds on top. Let's see, in one hour there are 3,600 seconds. Well, this allows me to cancel my seconds. So my units, looks like my units are going to work out miles per hour, that's great. 1 times 3600 equals 3600 miles in, a, wow, 155 hours, that's a long time. But let's see if we can't pair this, that's a big number, let's see if we can't pair this down a little bit. If we do some division, we find that 3,600 miles in 155 hours works out to 23.2 miles per hour. Yeah, I can take. 